Hey folks, how you all doing? So today I've got my little glittery disco hat on because we are going to be looking at the box set of all eight studio albums by disco band Boney M. Um, received this in the mail the other day. It is a couple of years old, I think, the actual set. Um, but yeah, um, this is all glittery as well on the cover there. You probably can't see it, but it is actually glittery. It's quite a sturdy box. There's the eight albums plus a compilation in there. Um, that's what it is a quite a pricey set, um, considering um, it's just over three hundred Australian dollars, um, which is almost a Almost a hundred dollars more than I paid for the entire ABBA, Black Poppy, the ABBA albums box set a while ago. But hey, Boney albums are really hard to find here in Australia, and um, I am a big fan. I have several compilations of theirs. I have a Christmas album, Poppy, and um, Lynn has a couple of their studio albums, three maybe four of them, on original vinyl. Um, but yeah, finally got the whole lot now. As I said, they're so hard to get, especially the ones that were released after they were, um, their fame phased off a bit. It's their debut album, 1976. Interesting to note that this band were actually, um, all these vinyl in here um, are just black vinyl. Um, so I won't take them all out and show you anyway. But yeah, Boney M were actually created by the same guy that created um, Millie Vanilli. They don't sing on a lot of their albums. They are a front pretty much like Millie Vanilli. Um, but that said, um, they had some bloody good songs. Some really catchy hits um, in the late 70s and very early 80s up to about 1981. Um, so I, I don't have a problem with Millie Vanilli no. either, by the way. Um, doesn't matter, the songs are the songs regardless of who's out there miming to them I mean you get a lot of videos now this is their second album by the way um, 1977 you get a lot of videos now where other people are in the videos doing the miming and not the actual artists themselves so I don't see a problem with that um, they were good, they were entertaining they were good value um, Bobby Farrell guy in the band mr super stud there he was really the star of the show for me um and lynn we just can't take our eyes off him we think he's fabulous um this is their third album um, this was released in 1978 i think this was their big album because it had rivers of babylon on it um i know i'm sure this album and Maybe the next one came in Gatefold Sleeve um, for what Lynn's got. These aren't in Gatefold Sleeve. These are just basic album covers. And to be honest, the album covers just look like photocopies of the original. The images aren't as clear or crystal sharp like the originals. Um, but it does, said it does say they're made by Sony, so um, they should be of a decent standard. So this is their fourth album. This uh, was released, I think. Um, can't remember when this one was released. It should say it on it. 1981, maybe. Can't remember. I can't remember when their albums were released. Anyway, again, um, same thing. Just looks the same as there. Then we have Bunanunanunus. I think that's how it is. Christmas album. This was released in 1981. I actually have a CD which has, it's a double CD, it's got a lot of Yuletide songs on. Um, way more than this one. Anyway, it's still a great, great album anyway. Their Christmas album is probably my favourite Christmas album of all time, even it beats Elvis Presley. Uh, okay, I think this one's 1984. 
Um, Bobby Farrell had left the band at this stage. Um, they got a new guy in. For the love of money, I don't know what his name was. I don't know any of the songs on this album. This is where they pretty much faded into oblivion. So um, this is going to be an interesting listen. As is this one. Um, uh, Bobby Farrell does make an appearance on this album, but he's not on the cover. Um, this one actually was a compilation. This is the compilation. It's a lot of mixes and 12-inch mixes, by the way. And this is there. 1985, I think this was. Could be wrong. Um, this was their eighth and final studio album. Again, I don't know any of these songs. And there's now two guys in the band. Um, Reggie. Sibo is the other guy. And of course, Bobby Farrell's back. So this will be an interesting listen as well. Anyway, as I said, um, it's a pretty expensive box set. Um, the box is really sturdy, which is really good. Um, I like the layout of the words on it. Um, just the whole feel of this box is really good. It's just the um, almost photocopy style of the album covers. They're not quite clear. Um, so I'm hoping they sound really good. Because um, as I said, it does come Sony Music right there. So it is an official release, not some sort of bootleg. So yeah, it's just great to have all these Boney M um, studio albums finally in my collection. Anyway, guys, leave your comments in the section below. Are you a fan of Boney M? Do you own any of their albums? Were you aware they were created by the same guy that created Millie Vanilli and the fact they didn't sing on a lot of their records? They did sing on some of them, on some of their songs, um, but certainly not all of them. Anyway, guys... Um, let me know what you think of Boney M in the comments section below. Um, till next time, stay safe, take care. All for now, catch you around and bye folks.